Hi guys! I am super excited to be uh, guest designing for Coco Daisy this month. So my kits just arrived um, and I thought I would do a little unboxing and show you the kits that I'm going to be working with this month. So uh, the kits this month are called Lemon Grove and this beautiful wee card in here is so sweet and fresh. I'm loving this colour scheme. It's not something that I would normally work with but um blue and yellow it's so summery and fresh and um, I can't wait to get started so let's have a look what I've got here beautiful yellow tissue paper um, I have got the pocket memory keeping kit and of course the travelers notebook uh, memory keeping kit and I also have the Coco Daisy classified kit so um, I'll open all these up so you don't have to hear all the rustly packaging and then we'll have a look through them. So this is the pocket kit and there is so much stuff in here guys. I'm so impressed with how much product comes in this kit. So let me start with the um, cards because as far as I'm concerned um, with pocket memory keeping, that's the most important part for me. So there are four double-sided 4x6 four cards and I love this little lemon motif on here. And even though this is obviously quite summer themed this kit, so for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, totally relevant. Uh, for me, not so much. There is enough in here that isn't summer themed, um, which is still, still so pretty to use. So I love these little lemons and more of these lemons here. Summer is here, and the quality of these cards is really nice. They're not super, super thick, so um, not going to bulk up the pockets at all. Um, but they are lovely, smooth cardstock, and the printing on them is beautiful. These patterns, they remind me so much. They're like a like a Greek holiday, like so beautiful. Um, and I love the blues on here too. Ah, when life gives you lemons, see? Not entirely summer themed. Um, also, you know, kind of bad day themed. <laughs> so making the best of things, I guess, is a better way of saying it rather than a bad day. Now the three by four cards, there are a bunch in here. There are so many cards to choose from. I mean, I'm never going to use all of these. So let's go through them. Enjoy the sunshine. And again, lots of them are just these beautiful patterns, so really easy to use them. Um, even the sun ones, like I mean, as long as it doesn't say summer on it, I'm still going to be able to use it. And these ones are just so pretty. Summer vacation. Oh, I wish. Dreaming of it. Best dad ever. Not quite sure about that, but hello works. Yummy, yummy. Let's be fair, I still eat ice creams even when it's not summer. But again, these planar cards are just so cute. And I do love these lemons. <laughs> Grill master. So you can see in here, I, I don't know the actual number of these. I haven't counted, but... I mean, there's like a handful of cards, so these are so cute. Even these ones that do say summer, I can still cover that up and use it um, anyway. So is there anything better than an everyday kind of day? Not really, and those are the days that I love best around here. We'll look back at this and laugh. Again, with life gives you lemons and just some more beautiful patterns. And again, you could easily cover up summer and call that something else. Don't want to forget this. A backstory. There's a story behind this. Staycation. Be bold, make waves. Let's eat. Always relevant. Such a pretty yellow plaid, that one. And that is so cute. Look at his little face. I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, this makes me sour. That's fun too. See, I love him. He's so cute. Weekend adventures, more ice cream, sunny days, so much to look forward to, another beautiful lemon pattern on both sides, sorry for what I said when I was parking the camper, again I think I could cover this up and use it for something else, happy thoughts and little June calendar, I won't be 
documenting June. <laughs> I'm still in May. I'm I'm up to date, but that might be useful next month. Same with this Happy June. But this little tag design is cute. So that is all of the cards. There are just so so many. And apart from the four by six cards and the three by four cards, there are also a bunch of six by eight pattern papers. Let me see. There's five sheets here and they are double sided as well so that's a lot of paper these are so um so pretty patterns and i love the colors it is so fresh and sunny and just there's some lovely neutrals in here as well too green my frenemy um but just yeah there's so much to work with here so this is gonna be great there's this fun little tag in the kit there is sunshine in my soul today um, and then I'm going to show you through the huge assortment of um, embellishments that there are here. So first up, a lovely little blue alpha. And this is like, you know, almost the same as my favorite ones um, that I love to use. Small and little, no numbers I will note. Um, but the color is just gorgeous. And there is a stamp set. I'm going to say it's three by four. That's what it looks like to me. Um, these little tiles, you'll be able to make such awesome, in fact, just about all of these stamps, you're going to make awesome repeat patterns with. So the tile stamps are really cute, but I can also see making a really fun pattern with this lemon um, and maybe a little embellishment with this. So I'm excited to work with the stamp set, that's for sure. There are these really cute little rubber, are they, are they rubber? They're not plastic, they're that sort of rubbery material. So cute, sunshine, uh, lemon, and this little orange and yellow heart, two of each, which is awesome. Uh, and then a stack of doilies. Now, you know, I'm not like a huge doily user, but I do think I've got a plan for these. So there's two of each of three designs. Again, really pretty, but one of the things I wanted to point out was that the packaging is so cute. Like, this is totally usable as a card. You could cut this down to another 4x6 card um, or use it for something else. And the same packaging is in the Alpha stickers as well. So every part of this kit is just so pretty. <laughs> Love it. Um, there is a chipboard sticker set. Lots and lots of fun chipboard stickers on here some really handy like tabs and sentiments some geotags lots of arrows and I love these little circle ones here too they're so cute and then another massive pile of die cuts so I don't know that I'm going to go through all of these with you because it's so boring to watch someone else look at things but let me focus on here these are all of the die cuts in here and as you can see, there are so many. I mean, like, I've got a whole handful of them. So um, let me just see if I can find my favorites. I, I like, it was a beautiful day. I mean, these aren't particularly themed. You could use that at any time of year. Fave photo. There's lots of banners. Places to go. The struggle is real. That little sunshine's totally cute. And these tabs are double-sided, so you could bend them over and use them like an actual tab or just cut them in half and have two. That little lemon tag is cute. Another tab. Take note. Oops, I'm just going really quickly through these. There's some little florals. Summertime's another geotag. Um, a little cup with a straw, which is quite nifty because that's what I drink my water out of every day so that could come in handy another lemon some more tabs some labels and a tag so so much oh and I've missed this there are some whoop, let me grab these they are like foam like glitter foam words so this one says hello summer and again the summer's not particularly relevant but this is going to be so easy to just trim off um, and have the word hello so that will work for me perfectly summer is a state of mind again I can cut the summer off and add words with the little um, puffy sticker alpha to make my own sentiment so that will work as well 
and this moment needs no alteration at all and there's also a little flare button in here that says summer stories so I might not get around to using that one but as you can see I've got more than enough to get on with this kit is massive and pretty and I can't wait to get started but before I do let's see what else I've got so this is the Traveler's Notebook Kit, and I'm super excited about this one. Um, I guess most importantly is the actual Traveler's Notebook insert that comes with it, um, which does have this craft cover on it, which I think is a really good idea because it is going to protect the insides um, while you're working on it. Uh, but on the inside, there is this really pretty lemon cover, which is just so gorgeous with the little label. Um, and so I actually, I think what I'll do is I'll leave this craft cover on it and this will be where I will date stamp my insert. And then the inside um, pages, and there are quite a few. I don't know that I would use this all in one month, but um, the inside pages, some are just this really pretty grid, which I do love, love a grid paper um, in a notebook. But some of them have so, the same patterns and colors from the kit in it, which is beautiful because you've got not a blank page to work with. Um, sometimes those blank pages can be a little bit intimidating. Uh, there are blank pages, obviously, if you want to. But otherwise, you have something fun to start with already. So I just think that's such a brilliant idea. I've never worked with anything like this before. So I am excited to see just how much of this I can actually fill up. The paper is not, um, it's not super thick so you can see, well you can't see, I can see, you can see through it so I'll have to be a little bit careful about what um, what media I use in here but otherwise well, there's just um, a ruled page rather than the grid. I just think this notebook is so cute um, and this would be like a really good way if you wanted to get into Traveler's Notebooks but didn't really know where to start. I think this sort of kit would be really handy getting the insert and all the bits and pieces to go with it. So again, so much stuff. I have no idea where to even start really. Um, I will start with the papers. These are again double-sided papers and there are two two lots of each pattern in here so again there's five designs on one side and five on the other and there are two sets so you're not going to have to choose which pattern from which side you want you can essentially use both of them which I think is a really great idea I hate having to pick um, and Murphy's Law has it that it's always one paper that has both sides that I want to use which is always a little bit of a bummer that same really cute sunshine in my soul tag and now we can get on to the fun part this is all the embellishments in here and again there is so much so the first little thing that takes my eye is this wee set of stickers label stickers you know I'm a huge fan of label stickers these are um, regular label stickers there's some circles and there's some tiny little double-ended ones at this side here Another pretty alpha, this time in yellow, which I love. And again, that same fun packaging. So don't forget, once you've um, finished with your alphas, or I mean, you could take them out. You don't need to have the backing paper in there. You could totally use that to make some embellishments for your notebook as well. There is this fun stamp set. I do love an alpha and this is really great. It's gonna be a great size because it's really, it's quite small, but it's also really narrow because these Traveler's Notebook pages are quite narrow in comparison to say a layout. Um, you will still be able to fit a decent size word title across there. So this sort of alpha for Traveler's Notebooks is perfect. Even more fun, there's this roll of washi tape and I haven't opened it up to show you. Um, let me see if I can focus here. But it is that same beautiful blue and white tile pattern, um, which I love. So this is perfect for Traveler's Notebooks too. I love that there's a tape, uh, washi tape in there. There is a little pack of very tiny paper clips, which are so cute. I don't often use paper clips in my traveler's notebooks, but um, these ones are so tiny, I think that they'll be fine. There is again another pack 
another huge pack of die cuts and these ones are different to the ones in the pocket kit so this is you know similar themes and whatnot but there are some other bits and pieces in there again I really love this glass and the lemon um, but all sorts of tags and labels um, super handy in there and as well as that pack of die cuts there is also this pack of label die cuts which I am super excited about including these fabulous silver foil ones they are so gorgeous I'm gonna have to be really careful not to hoard those because look how shiny they are so pretty now in this little bag was a whole bunch of fun stuff there are a couple of wood veneer pieces and this is that um super super thin wood veneer so totally fine for a traveler's notebook um, a little polaroid frame which is really cute that says sunshine and then this other one says sun and fun and again you can really carefully though uh, cut wood veneer this thin um, with scissors or with a knife just being super careful that it doesn't split but it is um, it is splittable the words will be there is also this really cute charm, paperclip charm, that says summer on here. So that is really sweet. And I think the thing I'm most excited about is the kit comes with a stencil. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use it. I have been doing a little bit of stenciling. I was going to say lately, but this week, this week only, I've been doing a little bit of stenciling. So I'm in a stenciling mood um, and I can't wait to use this. I do have a few ideas, but I think this is going to be a really fun addition to the kit. So that is all the amazing stuff in the Traveler's Notebook kit. And I've got just one last kit to show you, the classified kit. Uh, let me pull that out. So this is the classified kit, which I will preface by saying is already sold out. So I'm sorry um, to tease you with this, but this is just a bunch of little stuff that um, can go with the kits. Uh, so there's a couple of yellow tags, which are really cute. They will match perfectly with both of those kits. There are a few things from Sunny Days. So these fabric bows, which I have been desperate to get my hands on. So I am so excited about those. And I love that that tiny touch of pink that these blue bows are going to add um, to the kit as well, just to break up some of that blue and yellow. I think this will be perfect. Um, a pack of Sunny Days ephemera pieces, which this is my third pack. I have three now. So um, I've been loving it and I am not sad to have another set to be perfectly honest with you. There are two charms from the Sunny Days in there. So um, I think what I might do is swap one of these for the summer one that's in there because neither of these are particularly summer themed. So I think that they will go perfectly in that Traveler's Notebook kit. And the last thing in this kit is this really gorgeous, um, I'm going to say it's like a title builder sort of stamp set. Uh, and this really pretty scripty font, so many versatile sentiments in there and I think that they will work perfectly with either of those kits as well. So guys, if you've made it through all of that, I know it was a super, super long video. If you've made it through to this far, well done, congratulations, and thank you. Um, you will be seeing quite a few projects using these supplies over the next few weeks. So um, I hope you look forward to that. And I hope that if you haven't uh, seen a Coco Daisy kit before, this gives you some idea of just how much, um, how much goodness is in them. So do uh, go and check out the website. I will leave the links down below in the description box. Uh, these kits are available right now, so you can order them right now if you want. Uh, as I said, the confidential kit is sold out though, so I will leave those links for you down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon. Bye!